Hey guys, it's Ebony. So, um, what I'm going to do right now is attempt to retwist my hair so I can wear a twist out to work tomorrow. Um, this is a twist out there that I'm wearing right now. And it probably doesn't even look like a twist out anymore. It looks just like a fro. Um, I've been wearing this twist out for three days and I haven't done anything to my hair in three days. This is actually the same twist out that I showed you guys in my last video that I did in my last video. So for the past three days I haven't twisted my hair. I haven't done anything except put a uh, bonnet over my head and sleep. And then when I woke up in the morning or when I, when I, um, when I got up in the morning the past few days all I did is put a little bit of the Shine Crave Glosser from the Allocate Naturals products that I showed you guys. I put a little bit of that in my hands. I rubbed it over my hair so that it can look shiny and it's not going to look dull. But that's it. Um, my hair has, surprisingly enough, my hair has remained moisturized up until this point. So this is the first day where I really feel like I need to add some moisture back in my hair. So three days, my hair has felt moisturized. And that's very surprising because when I first, and I'm going to talk about these products too. I told you guys I would talk about, give you a review or talk about these products. So when I first used this um, Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer, the first day that I did the twist out, I wasn't impressed when I first put it on my hair. Um, it felt just like any shea butter, any type of whipped shea butter, it feels to me it feels oily and then it kind of felt like it just sat on top of my hair now I will say that's the way it felt when I initially put it on it kind of felt like it sat on top of my hair like the moisture didn't seep into my hair but that was my initial impression so after I went to sleep and I woke back up and I got ready to take my twist down wow what a difference you even saw in the video my hair was so shiny and it was so moisturized this stuff really sank deep into my hair or at least it felt like it I don't know about its penetrating capabilities but it definitely felt like the moisture got deep into my hair my hair felt moisturized moisturized and it stayed moisturized so that was kind of surprising because like I said initially it kind of felt like it sat on top of my hair I normally use shea butter thick shea butter products like this to um, seal in a moisturizer because to me it works more like a sealant than a moisturizer but um, this definitely worked great now what I will say is this would be awesome if you're wanting to put some moisture in your hair and you're wearing a stretch style and you don't want your hair to revert back to its curl pattern this would be great because it's not like a water-based product so when you put it on your, on your hair and you sleep and it sinks into your hair it moisturizes your hair but since it's not a water-based product, it's not going to cause your hair to revert back to its curl pattern or shrink up. So this would be great for stretch styles. Now me personally, if I'm not wearing a stretch style, I would want more of a water-based moisturizer because, I don't know, I just like the initial feeling that I get when I put a water-based moisturizer on my hair. It instantly feels moisturized. I instantly feel slipped. With this, you don't feel like a slip. You just feel like you have product in your hair which may make it more manageable but it doesn't give you like a slip like a water based moisturizer would so um, do I like the product? Yes I do like the product I will continue to use the product but I would think I would have to use this in conjunction with a more water based uh, moisturizer which I have a few um, I have a few like this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream I have this one and I have this one that I like. It's the Cantu Shea Butter Creamy Hair Lotion. So I have some that I can use and switch it out. And I'm pretty sure that um, she should also have some on her website, like another type of product that's more uh, liquidy and less creamy. And I'm pretty sure she does, so I might check into that too. But anyway, so today um, I'm going to go ahead and try to retwist my hair. Now, um, if you can see my hair... up front is, is kind of stiff because I put like um I put some the first day I put um I keep saying um I might as well just get the product so the first day I used the curl control paste to kind of lay not the first day the second day the first day I didn't use anything on the video with you guys I didn't use anything on my edges but the second day I used this curl control paste and I used that to lay down my hair the third day, which is this morning. I didn't want to put more paste on, so I put a little bit of gel on top of that. So this is a little bit stiff. You can see the wave pattern going on. So I don't know how I'm going to do the front, whether I'm just going to leave it or try to retwist it. I might leave it because it's a little stiff, and I don't want to 
um, manipulate it until I'm ready to wash my hair. So I'm going to start with the back. I'm going to start with the back. And I'm just going to do some fairly big twists, as large as I can get them, given the fact that my hair is short, so they can't be really large. So I have my butterfly clips here that have been coming in handy to keep my hair separated. So I'm going to still use these Alok Naturals products because I'm really trying to get a feel for them. So I'm going to use this lemongrass leave-in conditioner to kind of moisten my hair. Um, and it does say it can be used on dry or wet hair. Um, hair tip, when trying to achieve styles such as twists, twist outs, etc. Spray the hair first to soften, which is was my plan anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, there's a glare from the window. Let me see if I can. I'm not going to worry about it. I hope it doesn't bother you guys. Um, so it says spray the hair first to soften, then apply one of our moisturizers, such as the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer, which I'm going to be using today, or the Moisture Rich Hair Parfait. So that's probably the Moisture Rich Hair Parfait. I don't know if any of you guys have tried it, but it's probably more water-based, I'm assuming. I don't know for sure. So I just sprayed a little on my fingers so I can detangle my hair with my fingers. I didn't spray it directly on the hair. I sprayed it on my fingers and I'm going to detangle with my fingers first. My goal is to try to minimize breakage by doing that. I really don't want to be using a comb every day but in order to smooth out all of my little coils I just feel like I have to use a comb. So I, I put that on there. Put the leave in. So now I'm going to take this um, Shea butter, and I'm going to twist. I guess this is pretty much the same process as what I showed you all in my video, although in that video I didn't talk. So I'm going to do like a hanging bantu knot on my ends, and this is something I learned on YouTube. So just kind of swirl it around and then create like a little um, bantu knot at the ends. And don't worry, it doesn't tangle your hair. You probably can't see that. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm down to the last section here. The last section. And it didn't take me that long. It really didn't take me that long. Um... I really do like these products now that I've used them a couple of times and I don't know I really I really like it um, I was thinking you know at the beginning of the video I mentioned that um, I would need like a water based moisturizer to alternate with that shea butter moisturizer that shea yogurt moisturizer but now that I think about it why would I need a water-based moisturizer when I'm using this water-based leave-in? Leave like, this is giving me that effect that I was looking for with the water-based moisturizer. So it's not really necessary. Um, it's giving me that slip that I was looking for. See, I'm able to take this three day old afro that was kind of tangly and you know becoming dry and now it's fully detangled where I can run my fingers through it without getting any snags so that's cool so now I'm going to take the Shea Moisture and, not Shea Moisture, Shea Yogurt and twist. Um, I'm not going to do flat twists in the front like I did in the last video because it's not going to matter because this part is going to be pushed back anyway. And yes, I decided to go ahead and undo this part even though I thought it was really stiff. It wasn't stiff. It was just 
I don't know, it's just laying back firm, but it's not, it wasn't too stiff to manipulate. So I went ahead and moisturized the front part too, because I felt like it would be weird to moisturize my whole head and leave the front um, moisturized. So, there we have it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I will come back to you guys. I know my head is cut off, but I, I wanted to show you guys the top of my head. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this and I'll come back to you all in the morning with my results. I'll see you guys again in the morning before I go to work. Alright guys, so it's the next morning and I'm getting ready for work. I took my head scarf off and as you can see my twists are very shrunken up. I don't know why my hair shrinks so much, but they are very shrunken up. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take my twist down, fluff out my hair, and then I'll be back to show you how it looks after I do all of that. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I took my twist out. And I'm loving the definition. The definition is very pretty. It's very chunky. Lots of texture. And I'm really, really loving that. Um, my hair is very soft and moisturized. Um, I don't know if you guys can see because it's, um, it's still kind of dark outside. So I'm working with artificial lighting. But if you guys can see, I'm having the same problem I had before with my sides. Kind of being at an awkward length. So I'm going to go ahead and pin everything back. And then I will be all ready to go i really really love the texture though it's so chunky and it's really pretty i'll be back all right guys so i'm all done i didn't put anything on my edges so i'm just leaving those as they are and i feel like the result pretty much looks the same whether i start with wet hair or dry hair my hair looks just like it did when i did it for the the, the last video on wet hair it looks just the same the results on dry hair so all right i'm about to head to work i'll talk to you guys again soon thanks for watching and um leave any questions or comments down below bye guys